11 days guys, 11 days from me posting this video, we're all going to be experiencing the fandom. They better not disappoint y'all. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We're going to be talking about DC fandom today. I've already done other videos talking about DC fandom, but those videos, I was just talking about the content we can expect to get there from the Batman looking like we're going to get a small teaser, a poster, some more details on the Flash movie, Black Adam. We even had the stars of the DC universe perform little TikToks for us. You know they're going all out if they make The Rock do a TikTok. Robert Pattinson, where was your TikTok, man? I was waiting all day but the thing we're going to be discussing today is how exactly dc fandom is going to work as an event because of the pandemic this year we've had a lot of virtual events from the one the playstation had that wasn't so bad a bunch of pre-recorded footage but done in an orderly fashion and then we had the disaster that was san diego comic-con at home that they tried their best but man that was just not as entertaining or fun to watch as when comic-con really happens and a lot of people are thinking dc fandom is going to work the same way a lot of pre-recorded videos that'll just be thrown up on YouTube or the DC website. No, man. This is literally a virtual event where you will become a little person in this Matrix universe, walk around and view in 360 like if you're actually in a convention. So I'm going to bring down all that information and what you need to know for DC Fando, but I need your guys' opinions down below. What do you think of this event? Do you think this is a game changer? Do you think they just should have done pre-recorded footage that they could have just thrown up on YouTube? Because I think this is like a million times better, especially when I give you all the details here. Like... This is almost like RuneScape, man, or some World of Warcraft stuff. All right, so first things first, this DC Fandom event will only be happening for 24 hours at the DC Fandom website. You can go to dcfandom.com and it'll take you to the site that you'll need to be at. The event will begin August 22nd, beginning at 10 a.m. Pacific time all the way to 10 a.m. Pacific time the next day. So there's not going to be an alternate link for a YouTube channel or some live stream that you'll just watch and sit back patiently for your favorite panels to come on. You will be able to view the event through a mobile device on your phone or tablet, but they recommend here the best way to experience DC Fandom is through an actual desktop or laptop to be able to get fully immersed in everything they have to offer. But okay, getting to the juicy details here that made me go, oh my god, this, this thing is next level. Everybody needs to do something like this. When the event goes live and you sign in to the website, you will be thrown into this virtual world that contains different islands but here's how the website describes how you'll be able to navigate through all of this when arriving to dcfandom.com on august 22nd starting at 10 a.m pacific time you will select your language of choice and you will be brought into our digital world where you will navigate using the keyboard to move yourself within the virtual environment using w up a left s down d right or up down left right arrow keys you will also use your mouse or trackpad to control your eyes to look around the 360 degree environments and this is what i meant this is like diet runescape right here you will be thrown into this virtual reality you'll be given an avatar and then you'll just be able to literally walk around like if you're playing some sort of game and then your mouse to look around like boys what are they trying to throw at us like i knew the trailer they had for dc fandom looked really interesting of like Oh my god, like, they're showing little people here walking up, they have a lady standing there. Like, they really actually want you to feel like you're in a convention. And that is just blowing my mind, because again, I really just thought this was just going to be some overhyped live stream event of just pre-recorded footage that'll get played out. But no, man, there's going to be a lot to do here. Along with getting a character to walk around in this virtual reality, you'll also get a control panel of different things you can do within this world. Here's what the control panel is going to be looking like, and for each number, they have it here on what that specific control does so they have here one map obvious what that'll be number two is screenshots store will take you to the dc store on the funverse island so you'll even be able to actually buy stuff here and they have it here on their website that there will be exclusive items that you can only buy during this 24-hour event my mind goes to funko pops man they better have some cool ones but here's an intriguing one they're even gonna have achievements for your character in dc fandom saying track what you've unlocked and what hidden secrets might still be discoverable in DC fandom. To me, what this basically is, is a checklist so that you don't miss anything during this live stream event. In the same way you have achievements in video games and you get to see the list of them when you're playing the game of like, okay, I still need to unlock that trophy. It says 
find all Riddler trophies the same way this DC fandom is going to work out. Where you'll probably get an achievement for visiting each island, for playing a game in each island, for watching a video panel. But it has me intrigued that they say hidden secrets in there. Don't tell me they're going to be trying to hide the Batman trailer, man. That's kind of sneaky of you. They also have here an emoji button. Send emojis to share your feelings in DC fandom. Six is social reactions. See what people are saying on Twitter and tweet your reactions with hashtag DC fandom for a chance to be featured. Seven here is something you're going to want to pay attention to. Schedule. See your custom schedule for the 24 hours. If you have not registered for a custom schedule, you can do so here the day of the event. What that means is when they finally release the schedule for DC fandom and when all the panels are going to be happening and what specifically they'll be talking about, once you step into this virtual world and you have your own account, you will be able to make your own schedule so that you can keep track of what you want to see the most at this event. They have it here. Of course, you can customize your day of event schedule at a website they list here. Now, they says that the schedule will be launching the week of August 10th. That is this week. So I think by the end of Friday, we will be getting the full schedule of every panel. And once that is released, you could eliminate what you want to see most, what you don't want to see, and just have in order the stuff you're interested in. So like there's going to be everything DC related here. Like there's even a section of this DC event for kids stuff. I'm probably not going to be interested in that. It's a bunch of Teen Titans Go and cartoon shows. So I'll be able to customize my list to be like, okay, I want to see the Batman panel. I want to see the Flash panel. I want to see the Black Adam panel. Of course, I want to hear about the Suicide Squad video game, the new Batman game, heck, even some Mortal Kombat talk. Now for the actual islands that'll be part of this DC fandom, I'm going to go ahead and just read to you guys the important ones, the ones I actually think you would care about with what my channel usually talks about, which is movie related stuff. If you do want to see all the islands and read this information detailed for yourself, just go to the DCFandom.com website and it'll be under the frequently asked questions. But the main islands you want to pay attention to is of course the main island, Hall of Heroes, the epicenter of the DC fandom, experience special programming and star-studded panels, and be the first to see all new content from upcoming films, television series, games, and more. Hall of Heroes is your entree into a world tailored just for you, the fans, and it's available in nine languages. The other important one here is Watchverse. In this highly immersive environment, you will find yourself transported to a busy street in the DC Fandom's theater district. Take a seat and join our virtual audience for hours of must-see DC content from around the world, whether it's the latest panels, exclusive world premiere screenings, or never-before-seen footage. There's something for everyone to enjoy with the cast, creators, and behind the scenes characters from the world of DC TV series, films, home entertainment, games, and more. The last island that I think you guys also need to keep your eye out for is called Insiderverse. Go behind the scenes on the legendary Warner Brothers Studios lot with the master artisans who bring DC to life in all its forms. From comic books to games, TV, movies, themes, theme parks, consumer products, and more. I really wish this event was in VR. That would have been really cool to have. They even have a question here. If it's in VR, they say no, but they will have AR. AR is a lot what Snapchat does where you get to see your little bitmoji run around or do something crazy. So that's going to be kind of cool that you'll be able to do that part of this event. I was hoping that you get to customize an avatar, that you get to actually create your person in this virtual reality, but they have it here. No, there's no need to create avatars for the DC experience, though we do encourage you to cosplay or put on your DC best and share your look on Twitter. Who the heck is actually going to be cosplaying by themselves at their home during the DC fandom event? lame but anyways guys that is just all you need to know right now about dc fandom all that's left is to know the schedule whenever they release that it's best that you go to the website and customize what you want to see most during this event and wait for the 11 days to be over so that we can see what they have to bring to us man i am getting so overly hyped for this they better not let us down let me know your thoughts down below do you think this is innovative do you think this is different it's way better than just some live stream don't forget to subscribe for more movie related content hit that like button follow me on twitter at 3c film review as always i'm chris take care